A7. 7 magnitude earthquake off the Pacific coast of Canada caused a tsunami in southwestern Canada and in the state of Hawaii, Hawaii. However, the previously announced evacuation was cancelled when it was learned that the wave height was lower than expected. On Saturday night, sirens sounded in the Hawaiian Islands and announced an impending tsunami. According to Reuters, at least 100,000 people moved from the coast to the hills afterwards. Hawaii Governor Neil Abercrombie has declared a state of emergency and announced additional security measures. According to the officials' initial estimates, the waves could reach 2 meters high, but the largest wave was only 1.5 meters long. It was recorded on the island of Maui and did not cause serious injuries. The risk level announced by the authorities was reduced from warning to recommendation shortly after 1 a.m. local time. However, civil defense officials said the island's coasts and ports would remain closed for several hours. Locals were advised to stay away from the coast. According to forecasts, the wave height could reach 2 meters in some areas. The tsunami quake occurred 200 kilometers southwest of the city of Prince Rupert, Canada, with an epicenter at a depth of 18 kilometers and a magnitude of 7. According to preliminary information, the earthquake off the coast of Canada caused neither damage nor human life. There were no tsunami warnings for coastal areas in Alaska and British Columbia. Initially, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reported that the quake posed no threat to remote locations. But new news was soon published. After the earthquake, a tsunami formed that could damage the coast of all of the Hawaiian Islands. The Hawaiian archipelago is made up of hundreds of islands that stretch for nearly 2,500 kilometers. Residents of tsunami-prone 